tomorrow we will uh, celebrating Eid Mubarak, Lebaran. So uh, I believe some of our team here is not attending all hands because they are mm, gathering with their family. Yeah. So uh, let's have a quick start. I will share the all hands video for company profile. Okay, so that's our company videos. Uh, sadly, we don't have any uh, inspirational speaker for this week, so I will pass this to Utami. Utami, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Dia. Uh, I believe our session is uh, the patient and patient that we have presented by Mr. Yudu. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Actually, more people came today than I thought. So, uh, all right, uh, for those of you celebrating, Salamat Yitul Fitri. And uh, I'm uh, also, what, what I need to say, Mohon Lahir Dambantan. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, <laughs> I've, I've always thought that was a strange thing to say because it sounds like I apologize for being born. But I'm pretty sure it has like a different meaning if you um, have heard it growing up. Yeah, I just took it the little translation of it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it pretty short today, but I will tell you where I am. So I'm in Mexico today, um, and I'll show you where exactly in the part of Mexico I'm uh, I'm coming from. So uh, today I'm a guest on Airbnb. The uh, the Chandra account for those of you working in operations has been uh, I've been using it to find interesting stays as a guest for the past few days. So uh, let me show you where Mexico is. For, does, does everyone know where Mexico is? Or is it just kind of like, like an abstract concept? Karina's like, uh, yeah, kind of probably right next to like Pakistan or somewhere, right? Um, OK, so anyway, um, this is Indonesia, which I hope everyone knows where it is, right? Right in our homeland and uh, over here. So if you go across the ocean on the equator over here, you get to Ecuador. I thought it would be Mexico, but if you go up a little bit from Ecuador and uh, you go just below the United States, you have Mexico. And Mexico, I have to say, either I've been in Indonesia a very long time or I just am brand new to Mexico, but it reminds me almost 80% of what uh, Indonesia is like. I'll give you a few examples, okay? So just a few days ago, I was in Mexico City and Mexico City has a population about the same as Jakarta, in fact. It's about 20 to 30 million people. It's ultra crowded. There's, uh, there's massive air pollution. There's nice neighborhoods. There's not so nice neighborhoods. And it's, uh, it's a really busy industrial hub. But also Mexico has this place over here. And this is where I am right here. This is uh, Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo is basically the Bali of Mexico. So this particular area is home to a very famous city called Cancun. So Cancun was developed back, I think, in about the 50s and 60s. And it became a major tourism destination for people coming from, generally it was the United States, right? Just like how Indonesia has Australia, um, Mexico has, I guess, the United States. And a lot of people come from uh, the US to holiday in Cancun. If you go to Cancun, you'll find that the layout of Cancun is very much like Nusa Dua. Big hotels on the beach, 
600 rooms and such. So what is interesting about this particular history here is that just like Bali, people got a little bit bored of that. So newer generations of people who are, I guess, millennial Gen Zs decided that they didn't want to hang around to have holidays where their parents had holidays. So they made choices. They made choices to go down the coastline down here. And eventually they went to this particular area, which is where I am at right now. Where is it? It's right here. Okay. So this is the town I'm staying in and it's called Tulum. Now, if you go on Airbnb and you look at Tulum, you can do it right now if you'd like, you'll find that, uh, well, this is actually the place I'm staying at right now. So what you see is an apartment building. It's three stories. It's got an infinity edge on the top of the roof tarp. This is what it looks like. And it overlooks like a jungle. I've got my own little plunge pool right over to the side. It's actually pretty cool. It's a, kind of like a large outdoor bathtub there. Um, the room, you can decide whether or not this looks like something in Changu, but I find it almost identical in terms of the design and the layout. And it's actually built surprisingly for people who are like digital nomads, also considering targeting um, the same type of traveler and same type of generation. So very aspirational. And just like in Indonesia, at around sunset time, all the ladies get dressed and they go up and they take photos on Instagram up here too as well. So I always thought that was something like, you know, the kids in Indonesia did, but apparently that's what I guess people do all over the world. So anyhow, um, what's interesting about this particular location is if you look at Tulum, um, it's being built out quite a lot. Okay. So this was a city and all around where I'm staying right now is construction sites. It's like hundreds and hundreds of construction sites for new villas, new guest houses, new buildings all over the world. Now, um, this is kind of interesting. And I thought it was interesting because of this. And this is my perspective. Let's say you're traveling from Europe. You're traveling from Europe and you're looking for a beach holiday with a really cool, um, affordable, uh, let's say design, right? So you have two choices. You could go to, I guess, uh, you could go to Mexico now and you can see the prices here in Mexico are fairly similar to what prices you'd expect to find in Changu something around the three, four, 500,000 for really high quality stays. But here's the difference though. In, if you're coming from Europe to go to, let's say Mexico is uh, a bit cheaper. It's about 1,500 yeah, to get to Mexico. But if you wanna go to Bali, let's see, London to Bali, let's take a search on that. It's a bit more expensive. So what's interesting is uh, this model that was developed in Bali with millennial travelers, Gen Z travelers, seems to be picking up and uh, going around the world. Hey, I'm mistaken, sorry. Actually, I found a flight for the same price as uh, as Mexico to Bali. So that that theory is disproven, okay? But anyway, uh, anyways, I, I just wanted to hopefully show you guys what the perspective on a global scale is of what uh, we're doing. The good news, and if this is inspirational, is uh, is this. Um, having the experience that we've accumulated in Bali, I can safely say that, that we are far, far ahead of most of the property management companies in this space here. Uh, we do things that are far more advanced, use AI technology, whereas the companies here are probably just getting started. So I think this is something to be insp inspired in your own work, that you're part of an organization that is doing the leading work for this particular industry. And uh, hopefully, uh, they'll take an appreciation to some of our technology. So anyways, I'm, I'm on, I'm kind of on a holiday here, but I'm also exploring what the possibilities are for, let's say a, uh, uh, partnership or expansion to this particular place. That's also rapidly growing. Okay. Does that sound interesting? Does that kind of let us zoom out and see things from a global perspective? Yeah. All right. Let's go into the, uh, the standard all hands that I did, uh, normally. Okay. I made it, I made my thing, Ido Fitri uh, friendly. And guess what, Ghani, I just realized something. I realized when I always uh, give feedback to Rayhan and to other people on the marketing team, it's because I have a idea of what uh, what what you know finish looks like. For Edo Fitri, I'm just guessing. Is this is this appropriate, guys? Give me some feedback. Is this kind of like a good? I, I did it on a mid journey, but I don't know if it's an appropriate Edo Fitri design. I guess since nobody's really giving me feedback it's either because nobody's really listening or 
people are just typing on their things and okay delegate me some feedback okay all right that seems to be okay right or or maybe i just like am so far off that everyone is is afraid to tell me that i'm need, not a talent. need one one more element need one oh, more what's element the, tell uh, me Gani, what's the, Ketupat, ketupat element. Ah, oh yeah, I need the ketupat. ketupat. Here, here, here. Let ah. me go on mid journey. I'm going to do this mid journey right now, and I'm going to put a ketupat. Do you think it will know what a ketupat is? Let's see if mid journey is smart enough to get that. Okay, uh, I'm going to add idol fruit tree with a ketupat. Yeah, with a ketupat. Okay. All right. While uh, while that process is uh, Ghani, I'll come back and change it on the last slide if that process is in time okay all right thank you guys um let's go ahead and uh, get into it now since it is uh, coming up into the holiday and as utami and also dea just mentioned earlier i'm not going to go too much into uh what we should be talking about the things that we should be talking about at today's all hands are some of the pros uh, some of the successes and failures that we had in the previous semester. There's been some really, really good work, and there's been things that we should probably not do again from the previous semester. But I would like to wait until we have the entire company uh, back from the holidays before we go into those particular discussions, okay? And the other thing I'd like to do is to um, set goals and announce the goals for the next semester, semester five, all right? So for those of you in attendance, if you're hoping to hear about like a grand summary, Sorry to disappoint you, that's going to have to come next week. But uh, if you just wanted to hear some fun Mexico stories, then uh, hopefully I've inspired delight so far. I'm going to continue. You guys thought I was done, but I'm not. Okay, I'm going to continue. So there is more. All right, so let's talk about the good news and the bad news. There is super good news. So is Marcel here? Is Marcel... Okay, it's, it's a shame because this is a moment of glory for Marcel. But I see that Kyle is smiling. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a new record for our hospitality score. This has never been achieved before. It's actually, what I'd like you guys to see is this, all right? Let me show you the actual Airbnb record, which I think is even more impressive. This actually has never happened before. So what we have now is we've exceeded the actual quality for similar listings. Here, let me, let me get this into the right frame. Let's go back as far as it can go back into April, okay? And we'll hit that. And uh, this is the first time, okay? As you can see from about April of last year, we've always been below similar listings. So we are always a little bit worse than other competitive listings that are in our category. And this has always been the case. And sometimes we get close. Sometimes we get within a percent away, okay? This week, this month, we're above. Okay, that's great. Hopefully that's something to be happy about because that means that whatever we're doing, we are succeeding. We are successfully getting ourselves known as a brand that uh, guests care about. And uh, you might not actually start feeling this until when people start actually saying, yeah, I did use Buga Vista. That was actually a pretty awesome experience last time I went to Bali. So until you start hearing that yourselves, but this, means that um, it will getting so in our center to that particular picture. So that part is great, okay? So congratulations, give a clear round of applause, show some appreciation for the, all the hard work done. This couldn't have been done without the uh, united efforts of everybody in this entire company. So thank you very much for uh, making this come true. All right, so that's the big picture uh, zoom out. So uh, really, really good. Uh, next, let's take a look at some reviews. So we've got some good reviews and we got some not so good reviews. But I think we're managing both within uh, our greatest uh, power. So we got three great reviews. These are just re samples of reviews. There's a lot more, of course, but these are the ones I picked out. Um, this particular emphasis, um, I'd like to actually make clear. These reviews happen not because by accident. These reviews happen because of good partnership management, uh, good inspection, and also good marketing and good accuracy. So these are the combined efforts of all the different people who are working every day um, on getting the content right, responding to partner feedback, issuing new ideas, writing business plans, creating the code that does the automation. Um, all of that is actually what produces these particular great results. So 
Uh, congratulations, these are excellent results. And this is just a sample of some of the enthusiasm our guests are showing for their stays and their holidays. Now, not all good news. There is some bad news still. Um, so we got uh, some bad uh, reviews about host response time and also smelliness in these two properties. It was the gong for the smelliness and the response time for Amerta Toratangi. Now, there's not a lot we can do about, let's say, a partner like the gong, whom we do not have essentially an aligned perspective and vision for what uh, guest experience should be. And so in those particular cases, the best way is to start having an offboarding program, right? Yes, it's probably going to influence a bit of the revenue, but long-term wise, I think it does actually, uh, it's a decision that we need to make to commit to the brand that we want to have. But the other thing about the host responsiveness, I think is something that we can actually fix. It is something we can fix from an engineering perspective. It's something that we can fix from a knowledge perspective. And it's something we can fix at execution. It's definitely something that should not be a recurring issue that we see from time to time, OK? All right, so those are some of the bad reviews that I saw. Um, zooming out, it's not often that we actually take a look and look at what our overall brand impact has been. So I just kind of stumbled upon this a few moments ago, and I thought this was actually pretty important. Um, Bayou, where is Bayou? Bayou's over there, okay? And why I started this brand eight years ago. That profile now is eight years old, which is almost the age of, I guess, it's, it's older than my child, my youngest child, actually. So we've had this profile for longer than we've had uh, KDK. So that's, that's pretty incredible. And KDK doesn't have 7,891 reviews, but this profile does. So that makes it kind of unique, right? Right, Shaylin? Yeah, I mean, KDK only has maybe 7,891 hours practicing IXL. And Shaylin, who's lived in my house, knows exactly what that's about. But anyway, Dea's smiling too, because she's been in my house and she always knows about how I help KDK practice her homework because uh, I'm a big believer in education. All right, anyways, uh, we've had this for eight years now, almost 8,000 reviews with an overall rating of 4.58. And what's exciting to me is, uh, and hopefully to everybody here, is the possibility that one day all of these don't need to be at 4.58. Um, they can be closer to five-star reviews. And that would really be something, I think, quite amazing. But there's more good news. There's more actually interesting uh, if you zoom out. Nadine, who, who doesn't even work here anymore. Um, Gani, this is actually one of our, uh, where, where, where's, where's Nadia? Nadia, you there? Oh, there you are, Nadia. This is actually a very high frequency brand touch point, by the way. Um, probably tens of thousands of people see this brand every year, perhaps even every month. So uh, maybe it's time to actually think of uh, what the successor to Nadina Wayana should be. But this profile, has nine years of hosting on it. It's uh, it's 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 almost uh, I don't know, like how many of us have siblings nine years old? It's 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 been with the company for quite a while, and two thousand eight hundred and seventeen reviews too as well. Overall rating of four point four six. Okay, um, this is me. If I decide to become like a cross dresser or change my gender or whatever, Wyanna Jing. I'm not sure if that makes. Wait, Wyanna Jing. Does that mean it's 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 in English it would be like Jing with the flavor of Wayana, but I think in Bahasa Indonesia it would be like Wayana with the flavor of Jing, right? Because the adjective. Anyways, so um, maybe we should put an N here. All right. Anyways, this this is me, but with Wayana's name, I'm not sure why that's there. Gani's smiling. Gani gets it, right? It's it's kind of funny. It's like, hey, I'm Wayana Jing now. Yeah, cool. Karina's like, hmm, confusing. Maybe maybe underneath that logo is Wyanna. Or maybe it's like a, I don't know. Like she's behind me, right? She's always standing behind me, supporting me, right, babe? All right. This one also nine years hosting and 5,382 reviews, also quite significant. So uh, pretty, pretty astounding. Um, Wyanna Chinik, 4,518 reviews and 11 years hosting. Almost the same age as Eka, actually. So my older daughter. Um, Actually, a little bit younger, but yeah, it's there too as well. And uh, this is the big one. This is the original one, Jing, Wayana, and Booga Vista host. That's, I guess, all of you guys and everybody. Actually, most of the work is 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 actually done by everyone except me. I just talk at the old hands. Don't really do anything else, really. 
And uh, oh, 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 I also deny people bonuses too when it comes to the end of the month, right? That's why Chintia is smiling. She's like, "Why did I get a full bonus? I don't know what's doing doing." Yeah, um, Erica is smiling because that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Erica just likes to smile from time to time. I think, right? It's a BD thing. All right. Anyways, this this is the original Airbnb profile and has got six thousand reviews and eleven years hosting. Okay, so altogether, a pretty um, astounding amount of effort goes into this and uh, it takes uh, sometimes just zoom out to take a look and see the big picture there okay all right um i'll talk about the highlights of the last semester and also what the goals are for the next semester ahead in the context of bb6 next week when of course we have everybody come back from the Edo Fitri and Lebanon holidays so uh, so yeah that's that's that but once again um if you're at the whole hands today the most important thing is to really understand the mission of the company and the reason why we gather once a week to talk about is really to understand this idea. It's to uh, to understand the purpose of what drives all our work. It's to inspire delight. And we do it through hospitality innovations that uh, positively transform our guests, our partners, and uh, all of you guys here too as well. That's, that's the mission of the company. Okay, and uh, once again, be curious because curiosity um, greater than fear equals inspiration. And yeah, that's my Edel Fitri edition. So for those of you celebrating, uh, try not to do any work. Try to be with your families. If you get bored of your families and you can come back to work, this will be your second family, okay? But, but uh, try to focus on your holidays during your holidays time because I think that's what it is about. Shailen and uh, team have hopefully planned a rigorous shift arrangement. And hopefully the, uh, the first test of the AI by you will be to see how much the AI can do while the uh, team is away on their holidays. And I wish you all a very, very um, uh, joyful and meaningful uh, holiday with, uh, with your families. And, and do this too, by the way, do this. Um, if you're going and doing some traveling during these uh, upcoming holiday, Try to uh, try to book a trip on Airbnb or you know whatever platform you choose, right? I I love Airbnb because you know you know the whole business here is is sort of uh, uh, based on the idea of the Airbnb principle. But you try to actually be a guest and uh, see what it's like actually, um, because it's it's really really interesting being on the other side. I will, whew, wow, it's it's so different being a guest, right? Uh, you you feel everything now. You feel when a host doesn't respond to you. You feel like okay, this person doesn't care. Um, so much of the experience is really depending on um, on a host that can be there. And uh, good hosts do actually change your life. They they are definitely people that you'll remember, talk about, and uh, and uh, they they add experience to to the holidays that you might take. Okay. All right. Anyways, um, hopefully that's good. Um, Overall, I'd like to say that I was uh, fairly happy with the results of the last semester. Uh, we didn't quite reach our revenue targets. They were probably a little bit too ambitious and uh, we did give it a pretty good go. But the, I, think, I think the marketing and the automation was probably uh, overestimated in terms of its ability to affect revenue. However, the really good news is I do see that the brand is getting much stronger, which is exactly where it needs to be before peak season. And also the amount of uh, dedication we have overall as a company spent into really delighting our guests and delighting our partners has, uh, has significantly improved during the semester. So we as a company are moving ahead. The other thing I've noticed is the uh, employee culture. Um, we've recently put Furcon in charge of overall employee experience and culture, but uh, the actual reality is that uh, everybody here, um, you guys make up the culture, right? It's not a single person doing it. It's uh, it's how we it's how we turn on our cameras during an all hands. It's uh, how we talk to each other during meetings. It's the critical thinking. It's the stepping on toes. It's the all the little things that we do uh, every day. It's the way we talk to our interns. The way we care. The way we uh, the way we host. Those all actually add up to this uh, this amazing culture. And uh, at no point in the company have I seen the culture so strong. And uh, I'm really, really proud to see that that's uh, that's where we are. Okay. So uh, goals are super important, but for me, long term wise, the culture is essentially what uh, remains at the end of the day. Okay. So uh, let me hand it back over to I guess Tommy. Yeah. 
for the next segment of today's All Hands. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is the RTT from uh, April second, and we invited Pak Dharma and uh, Natalia and her husband. And yeah, the team. I, th I think the team is doing a good job, right? Uh, like the previous photos, I think like uh, Natalia is interested to see Wayana's phone. I'm not sure what she's showing, but yeah, uh, uh, this is right. Uh, and then uh, Marcel and Bella is actually hosting Pa Dharma and his wife. They have a villa, four villas in Tumbak Bayu, and interested to actually see the potential for daily rental right now. And yep. Uh, you can move to the next photos as well. This one's smiling, except for Marcel. Except for Marcel. You can see Why Marcel. Why Marcel look so villainous? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Wait, Totami, I think you're still... Yeah, we cannot hear you. Try again. Uh, no, we cannot hear you, sadly. But okay, uh, let me take over for a bit then in that case. So uh, thank you, Della. So uh, we actually skipped Chindia's update. So uh, let's give it up to Chindia then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Pak. And we had a guest named Tina who stayed at Shankara Pachato for a few days before moving to this hidden village for a long stay, Tina faced some problem with our service during her stay at Shankara Pachato and but she showed but, uh, understanding despite this issues, Tina want to stay with us again, which inspires us to improve our hospitality for all of our guests. That's it, back to you, Kashi. All right, thank you, Cynthia. And next is to me, actually. <laughs> so uh, we actually like uh, we went to La Brisa. So after we did the uh, property testing in Prerenan. So uh, yeah, and basically we had dinner. So uh, it was supposed to be like Nanda's farewell, or is it? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, supposedly to be Bella's farewell from Bali as well. But yeah, she and Marcel actually like went out and yeah, Marcel, okay, yeah. Julik Bella ke Jimbaran, so yeah, that's why there's no Bella over there. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, we had dinner and then I like, had a quick tour with Wayana. Like it, it feels like we were on a study tour and like tour on La Brisa and then like had had a quick uh, chat as well. So it was pretty good. Yeah, thank you and yeah, back to me again, I guess. Um, then moving on to the uh, technological innovation. Uh, the first one to Robin, which I believe Robin is off, yeah. So uh, perhaps uh, can we have PD to like? Yeah. Uh, uh, Robin is not here today, uh, but we release uh, if you go to point twelve point zero. The issue is that usually there are complaints of not being able to upload pictures. Uh, therefore, the implementation is that we can do a um, client side compression to the image so that it will become quicker for people who have slow or unstable internet. Uh, this has been released for Android first because in iOS there were uh, dependency conflicts. So when there are Complaints for um, partner. Uh, do check whether they are they have Android or iOS, and then if it's Android, uh, then please do escalate it to the engineering team so that we can continuously iterate on the issue. Thank you. Back to Shelly. Okay, cool. Thank you, Vidi, uh, for the uh, BB go update. And next to Dafa, which uh, I think back to you again, Vidi. I have missed one. Okay, yeah, can be, but uh, Krishna can also read this one. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. 
Uh, okay, uh, in Gaia Echo, we have three updates. Number one, we have sentiment analysis. So Echo will indicate the overall sentiment in conversation, as you can see on the first attachment here. Uh, secondly, we are also added a feature that can tell if a contact in HubSpot is linked to a company or not. Last update on user-based refinement. Uh, we are working based on user request now on the Echo refinement. So we create automation in unspoken question and create marketing article recommendation. So basically, when there is detected unspoken question, uh, the automation will see whether or not we have article recommendation. If not, uh, then automation will suggest us to create one. But if we have any, then the article will be shown as a link like the attachment in the images on the second, uh, I believe, in the third uh, column. Okay, uh, I think that's all from me back to Kashele. Okay, cool. Thank you, uh, Krishna. Uh, that's from uh, the first update, yeah. And I believe there's another one from you, yeah, for the attendance enhancement. Ah, yeah, I see. Okay, oh, this is for the and for count as the user update on Athena. Now I have attached all the conversation sample related to its review reply as Kak Bayu suggested. Since this is a review reply, so it is quite long, so you can read it by yourself. Uh, in short, there are three updates. Number one, Athena now understand to distinguish between normal issue, extraordinary issue, and out of control issue. So Athena now can reply the review strategically depending on the scale of the issue occurred on the case perspective. Second, Athena also learned to clarify complaints on the location aspect more properly. Instead of keep saying sorry and sorry over and over again, Athena learned to defend himself by saying we have provided everything on listing or schedule message related to location clarity. Last update, Athena also learned the dynamic relation between us, guests, and vendor. So anytime guests complaining about vendor, Gaia can clarify the relationship between us and the external vendor who operates beyond our services. I think that's all from me. Back to moderator. Um, okay, thank you, Krishna. Uh, okay, uh, can I have a quick check if Utami is back with the mic, with a better mic? Hello. 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 Uh, not quite okay then i'll just take over for the rest of the all hands yeah, in this case okay uh then thank you uh krishna as well as everyone for the weekly mission inspiration next part to the company team target and achievements and for the monthly strategic milestones to kyla let's go okay thank you Ashe. all right um the vision for this month is actually uh still the same on this part so we can skip this if there's changes make sure we'll make sure to put it after it will be three okay um let's take a look on the target for uh, this month so for april target um this is uh the target that uh the revenue manager team mr jing and marcel also have agreed on revenue target for the ok target four hundred thousand us dollar for the awesome four hundred and forty thousand us dollar at the moment we have achieved 71 percent uh, around 71 percent so we are at 286 uh, 695 thousand us dollars for that uh, we have set the five star percentage in our rating as can be seen there 81 percent for the okay target and 4.72 it might be uh, you guys might wonder like uh, we have achieved such uh, numbers on 85.4 uh, why do you want to achieve the okay target of 181 uh, basically what happens is that we have not received all the cumulative reviews yet this is just uh, on the beginning of the month and uh, the target itself is uh, the cumulative one from our previous achievements so we cannot guarantee that we're going to have uh, that uh, number until the end of the month what we can do is we, we try to maintain that and we have to set the correct expectations that we are still on track if we were willing to uh, get to the next semester for the hospital and revenue side okay um there you can scroll down a bit so uh, these are basically the breakdown for april 79.6 percent for locations uh, 84.7 percent for the accuracy 83.2 percent for the cleanliness 86.1 percent for the communications 
89.8% for the check-in and 85.4% for the value. At the moment, the numbers are increasing, but I believe these are also because some of our main listings are being suspended due to a couple of bad reviews that has been announced by Mr. Jing last week. So what is our opportunity? Um, here we have displayed a couple of uh, graphic that you can actually take a look on the company performance too. Until now, uh, we have managed to achieve around, um, one second, we have achieved uh, to manage 49% uh, for the occupancy, 6% expired dates, 2% maintenance, and 3% on usage for April. We still have around 40% uh, night available to sell if you would like to achieve the remaining 113, 305 to achieve the OK target. Okay, that's the distributions for the occupancy. Um, for this week, we will skip the monthly uh, strategic milestones. As discovered last week, there, uh, there has been a need to do some refinement going into the new, uh, new semester, but your involvement would be much more critical later on on the direction that this company will take in, and they will be announced on the next all hands after the um, it'll fit reality. Thank you. Uh, back to you, Kashali. Okay, nice. Thank you, Kayla. So, um, okay, that's for the CTTA. Uh, what about the MSM? Do you have any additional points for that? To Kayla, still. Sorry, sorry. I was uh, taking a look at something. Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry, Ka. Uh, for the MSM, uh, is there anything that you would like to add on? Nope, uh, that's all. Only the expectation setting for the MSM. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. And next uh, to the yeah. Okay, next part is the promotion and your employees. So I'll pass this to the yeah. Okay, uh, so this is a new promotion. Congratulations for Kashialin because it is, it is really awkward, yeah, if Kashialin announced herself so uh kashilan uh today is having a new title uh for hr compliance and retention manager now uh in this in the state of career kashilan also uh, have a new career state in knowledge management and soup supervision congratulations kashilan yay okay that's all i think <laughs> i will get this back to kashilan all right, thank you, Dea. Uh, yeah, it's a bit weird, yeah, if I announce this, so, yeah, by myself. So, <laughs> well, thank you, everyone, for the uh, congratulation, like messages as well. So, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's for the promotion and your employees. And uh, I think next we can move on to the core value recognition. Yeah, I believe there are a couple of them. So, I think we can start from the uh, from the top left, yeah, there. Uh, I think that would be like better. So the first one to Wayana. So there are two of them. So Mo, you can read it uh, directly for the two of them. Okay. For I think for Widya, I would like to recognize Widya to create the review uh, dashboard. At the moment, I'm using it because like I asked the team like what is the you know, like month a month, like how we're doing up and down so that I'm easily measure like how I am doing as a GS. Actually, that was the at the beginning with it. And then I asked Vidya um, to create uh, something that I can basically measure myself untuk ngaca. So he created that. So he said like he never did this and just give an example. I think he's like a, a hero in this, in this case because like, uh, first time doing it but he um, you know uh he deliver what i want at least but i don't know for other people like you can use this as well like like team um team content want to do like what is what are the position now like the courtesy and cleanliness like so that's uh, very useful and then i don't know team operational like as well can uh, have a one a benchmark like the sla of uh, you know what is review it should be so it can be used a lot of things but um but at the moment i just have that just uh i didn't figure out yet like who will be useful for yeah nice okay. thank you Mo. moving on to the next one yeah 
The next one is uh, actually to you and to David. Like I understand that it's very important to get the team paid um, on time and accurately, and you are dedicated and David like doing that. You know, it's it's a lot of work behind, but you know, like everyone happy. Actually, you do one like stressful a lot like oh this and this and like pepe hand this and that so i really appreciate that and it's a lot of uh, work and coordination and you you did your uh, good job every month yeah okay thank you Bob, for the uh, recognition as well and uh okay next to uh kyla yeah there are two of them Okay, uh, the first one is just to Katendi. Is Sandy here? Okay. Most of the senior team members who have stayed uh, in this company for a long time would basically understood Sandy's career journey. Uh, one might think there's actually a limit to his growth, but over the past few months, sorry, that must be an urgent. Karina, thank you so much. Especially in recent weeks. Uh, I apologize. Okay. Especially in recent weeks, he has shown unprecedented developments, basically like a breakthrough. I appreciate the newfound decisiveness, courage, and uh, rewards and punishments, and more critical approach. Way to go. Thank you, Katendi. Keep up the good work. Oh, the second one. I, I don't know if Karina can hear this. Unfortunate, but I would say Karina is striving even more, actually, as community manager. She has gained uh, such a confidence and skills that. She can operate independently, I believe, which has allowed us to reduce the direct supervisions. I trust Karina's judgment and decision-making abilities. Uh, she also takes more responsibility without constant oversight. So let's keep the good work. And I can be away for eight holiday. Thank you, Karina. <laughs> okay. Wait. Mm? Oh, okay. So thank you, Kyla, uh, for the recognition yeah, to Kak Tendi and to Karina. So yeah, you can have your day of in peace, yeah? Yay, <laughs> hopefully. Um, okay, next part is actually to uh, me. So I'd like to recognize both Hafiz and uh, Vulcan to inspire the light and be here as well. So uh, if you guys attend the last happy hour, uh, you might actually see it, the format is sort of similar to the previous one, but we actually like have a different like, um, slightly different format and slightly different intentions. So we are emphasizing more on our uh, core values to uh, enhance the employee experience. And they did well, actually, for the first iteration. So uh, I'm also looking forward to the next uh, feature event from everyone, yeah? So hosting nanti bakal giliran, as usual. Nice. OK, so that's from me. And next to Nadia. Okay, this actually to Matthew, actually for Inspire Delight and also Never Settle. So Matthew is actually really proactive. He's not afraid to stick for guidance and also a lot of time. Uh, he even shares his insight for improvement that can be on our website without even being assigned. So yeah. Thank you, Victor Yusilin. Mantap. Thank you, Nadia. And moving on to Hafiz, but I think Hafiz is already off yeah, for Lebaran, so I'll read it up. Um, okay, so Hafiz here is actually recognizing for Conan. So Conan was given the task to revamp the extra service page. He coded it himself for the column placement of the ex of each extra service as well as the pop-up. So he did well. Wow. So uh, here's to uh, never settle yeah, for Conan uh, from Hafiz. And uh, the next one is from Rayhan, which I believe he is off as well. So this recognition actually to Utami for be the hero and never settle. So after much discussion and ideation at the URC, uh, Utami successfully implemented a new way of delivering stories in form of audio or video included in articles. Oh, wow. So Utami showed that she is actively improving the quality of the article from time to time. So great job, Utami. So uh, that's from uh, Rayhan and to Bella before moving on to Mr. Jane. Okay, thank you, Jishelin. So this is for Wahyu, uh, second recognition for me uh, on helping the operational team to conduct or generate the business report on the Fulbert properties on the last Friday. So uh, Wahyu chose the uh, great way to have some coding to make the works even faster. So thank you so much, Wahyu. Keep on the good work. 
Azek Wahyu <laughs> terpantau masih online juga ya <laughs> selamat so uh, thank you Bella and last but not least to Mr Jing uh, I think you can deliver uh, your recognition okay I'm just writing the other one too right now so uh, first is to actually to oh okay this one's already up <laughs> so I want to actually recognize Ghani um, and this has been an interesting yeah. journey so Ghani is from Central Java and people in Central Java generally be very, very polite, um, as I've noticed, right? So uh, that in the context of defining a brand, defining work and in a business can be a very, very challenging uh, process to, to balance. And I think Ghani's actually gotten past that point. I see Ghani's actually a very effective supervisor. He's not shy to actually demand quality in his team's work and to ask that they do their best uh, performance. So I think that's, um, it's been a, it's been in quite a journey to, to see that uh, positive transformation. And uh, for those of you who are um, on a leadership pathway too as well, uh, supervisors and being responsible for other people's work, I have come to realize that this is an essential part of anybody's leadership career. Because if you cannot take responsibility for the output of your team, then there really is no progression in knowledge management, strategy, or upper management. So it is uh, an essential part. So Ghani's actually demonstrated, I think, that uh, despite uh, um, quite a, a, uh, a challenging, let's say, uh, uh, change in culture and, and personality, he's been able to do it effectively. So congratulations to Ghani there. All right, next, uh, I'd like to recognize Bella. Bella, you've helped me actually uh, realize the essence of leadership. And uh, this is this is inspirational in a way. And I realize that a leader doesn't need to um, do the execution. A leader doesn't even need to supervise. A leader doesn't need to originate a strategy. But a leader does need to be responsible for a particular outcome. And I think that is uh, that's in, in watching your progression and your development. I think that's it. So whenever we see that there's uh, a, a particular way to do something better, um, never do I hear, no, nah, we'll just do it the old way. We'll, we'll hold on to the, oh, yeah. Oh, am I still there? I think I lost my signal. Okay, all right. Sorry, my signal bounced a little bit. So hopefully uh, that, that kind of worked out. But anyways, yeah, thank you, Bella, for uh, sticking to and never settling and really thinking about how to move uh, the different ways that we move revenue forward for it, which is great for everybody because that's how we get paid. All right, back over to Shaylee. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Jing. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone as well for the uh, corporate recognitions. And I think uh, th since there's no announcement, we can move on directly to the personal updates, yeah. So uh, in light with the holiday, yeah, so as usual, uh, for this week, we'll read up the question of the week uh, column. So basically the question is this, so to commemorate for Lebaran, do share your most cherished experience during the holidays. So for those uh, non-Muslims, you can share your own holiday experience. So uh, apparently I'm the first one. So uh, for me, it's actually family gatherings. So it's pretty fun to see like your relatives in like one big frame and like see your like relative, like your little uh, kid, um, nephews, nieces, cousins are already like grown up, like even like as tall as you are. So uh, not including the questions though, it's not that fun. So, <laughs> okay, so that's from me and next one to Dea. Okay, uh, so my unique experience is when nyepi comes, I can eat when, whatever I want to eat, like noodle or uh, you know, something that my mom always pro prohibit me to eat. And at Nyepi, uh, <laughs> she she always allow me to eat whatever I want. Yeah, that. Okay, thank you, Dea. Uh, bisa all out, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, next one to Vidi. Yeah, uh, this year's quite memorable because during the Holy Week and during Lebaran, I suddenly fell really ill. It's very rare for me to get sick, so it's quite memorable. Oke, okay, very unik ya. Uh, semangat bro, get well soon ya. And oke, okay, next on to uh, Felix. Uh, trying hard to literally work everywhere, uh, especially when overseas. Uh, like I spend so quite some time working at a bench at a department store while my other family is busy shopping. 
uh, <laughs> if it's traditional outdoor market, I'm dead. Uh, there's no way I'm working at a sunlight <laughs> and it's hot literally. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oke, okay, semangat ya Felix, uh, a, a true digital nomad ya. <laughs> Oke, okay, then next to Vanes. Yeah, for me, during Chinese New Year, my family and I visit or get visited by our relative, get it together and getting some ang pao. That's the best part. Back to you, Kak. Oke, okay, the best part is the ang pao ya. <laughs> Oke, okay, next to uh, Widya then. Oke, okay, so yeah, I spend my holiday by visiting my family members and yeah, stay overnight yang nginep di sana. Oke, okay, back to you, Kak Shirin. Oke, okay, thank you ya. Well, a lot of uh, people are visiting family members ya, in this case. And oke, okay, moving on to Ali. Oke, okay, uh, actually I don't have a mudik tradition because uh, my house is close to other families. But to my, to my memorable things, uh, I think is... Uh, My family and I always visit our family's house on foot, ya. Yeah. So jalan-jalan gitu. And uh, and don't forget, I'm very happy when get HR from elder family. Back to you, Kak Selin. Oke, okay, nice TR ya. Yeah. So, oke, okay, cool. Oke, okay, next to Bayu. Iya, yeah, I'm Paulo Baran. Uh, this is once in a lifetime opportunity because you can only have a one childhood in a lifetime <laughs> nice okay now you're the one delivering the ang power right? <laughs> jadi gantian oke okay, cool thank you Bayu next to Krishna yeah so usually I just spend my holiday during lebaran with taking short vacation in Malang because that's the nearest and the cheapest uh, from my location right now Oh, that's nice. You can also meet Robin ya. <laughs> Sungkeman sama Robin juga mungkin. Oke. Okay. Uh, next one to Gani. Ya, ketupat, bakso, opor, nah, ayam goreng. Nah, this is a lot of variety of food. Iya, <laughs> pesta ya. <laughs> pesta makan, makan besar. Oke, okay, thank you Gani. Uh, next to Nadia. Oh, mine is eating really good food. My favorite is soto makassar and also eating a lot of cookies. That's not getting pregnant, that's getting your belly bigger. <laughs> Oke, okay, food baby ya. Yeah. Food baby, not like literally pregnant, but oke. Okay. <laughs> Oke, okay, marketing suka makan-makan ya. Oke, okay, next to Della. Yeah, I think like I, I cannot read the first sentence because she's hearing me right now. But yeah, I enjoy the sunset at the beach while uh, Yeah, she should see, sit next to me, open her laptop so that I get triggered. I open my laptop as well. <laughs> that is what happened because uh, my family's hometown is uh, west coast of Lampung, right? So there's a lot of beaches there. So. Oke, okay. okay. there are some things that's better not uh, apa spoken ya, especially when the person is like right beside you. But okay. <laughs> Oh, Thank you. Oke, okay, thank you family reunion ya. Oke, okay, moving on to Konang. Yep, so for the most memorable one, my sister used to study in US and we did online sungkem. Uh, it's unique and very funny experience. Oke, okay, this one is unik ya. <laughs> Jadi kayak online sungkeman gitu. Nice. Oke, okay, uh, moving on to Weda. Oke, okay, so since in the holiday I don't go anywhere except from my home. I only meet my cat Molly when I get home, and I cherish every moment with her because she is already old and my day so That's all. Ya yeah, kok sedih, tapi terharu juga ya. Uh, you really love your cat. Uh, you can bring Molly to the base <laughs> later on. <laughs> Oke, okay, dan to Erika. 
Uh, for me, I think the best part of Lebaran is in the morning because you will meet and gather with all of your family. But then when it gets uh, later, like in the afternoon, it gets less uh, more boring, <laughs> and then you like don't know what to do. <laughs> so yes, uh, the first day of Lebaran in the morning is the best one. Back to you. Right. Yeah, we. I think I think we all experience the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Erika. Um, okay, Rayhan is not attending. So uh, next to Mr. G. All uh, right. So it's actually getting the whole entire family to travel together to new places, bumbling around, trying to speak a new language, um, eating new food, doing new things, and um, Nippy as well. Nippy is the time when we all get together. And now, surprisingly, um, I didn't really celebrate Christmas before. I'm not particularly religious, but um, Christmas is the only time now where the entire family is together, right, babe? Yeah, so it's 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 actually becoming meaningful in that way. So, yeah, uh, back over to you, Shalim. Okay, cool. So it's switching yeah, between Yuppie and then Christmas, but okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Jing. And okay, to Gray then. Uh, so for me in Lebaran, we always visit our neighbor's house and relatives. It happens vice versa during Christmas because I also do open house during Christmas. So they also visit our house. So it's a really fun tradition. So looking forward for Opor and Renta. Oh, it's just tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> so, okay, looking forward for the food. Um, okay, to Amanda, since she's already off. So for Amanda, uh, I would say I'm going to cherish this year's Sabaran because my big family will gather and we plan to take a photo studio to keep the memories. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, looking forward for the photos, yeah? Uh, probably from Amanda next week. And okay, to Pandu. Uh, the most memorable thing I can't even forget is uh, during eighth holiday, I used to play toy gun with my friend. And uh, since I am not going back home this year, I bought the gun to make uh, to make me Whoa. remember what, back in the days. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Spring gun. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Pandu. Very unique. Yeah. Okay. This is the bullet, actually. Ngakak <laughs> banget. <laughs> okay. Next to Bella. Oh, okay, actually, I cherish every Lebaran with uh, everyone who work for our family because they send us a lot of traditional food from their village. So we get to know uh, like a lot of food that I didn't know before. So thank you, mm. Michelle. Oh, okay, that's a unique one, yeah. So you get to taste all over Indonesia. <laughs> okay, then next to Cynthia. Okay, for me, enjoy delicious traditional food, especially the various types of cake that we prefer for the occasion. Thank you, Kak Sheh. Back to you. Okay, lots of foods, yeah. Okay, thank you, Cynthia. To Karina, next. Uh, for Lebaran, maybe I want to try by some... Uh, buy some opor ayam, nasta rendang, and other snacks because uh, my family that celebrate Lebaran is on my hometown, which is like two hours flight, and I can make it. So maybe I can try to buy some. Okay, back to you, Kak Shalin. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Karina. Maybe we can have that for dinner later on <laughs> for today. <laughs> okay, then uh, to Kak Tendi, since he's not attending, so for Kak Tendi is to join open house with his friends and grilled lamb and then with satay with opera and ketupat so okay so apparently like his friends and then with food <laughs> okay uh then moving on to kayla uh my family has a unique tradition that uh we're not essentially mudik but we do like a collective vacations for the whole big family from the grandmother and the grandchildren this year we're going to kaliurang so it's going to be like Specifications, Lebaran there, I think. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Bella. Very unique, yeah. So you travel instead of uh, mudik. Okay. Uh, ju just be prepared for the traffic, yeah, <laughs> and the crowd also. <laughs> okay. Then to Rabbit. Okay, I think the most memorable uh for Lebaran is, yeah, I eat opor that I got from my neighbor today actually. Uh, so. Uh, I, I I didn't uh, cook my food today. Just that for my neighbor. 
Oh, oke. Okay. What a nice neighbor you have ya. <laughs> Udah dapat opor aja. <laughs> Pada belum lebaran. Oke, okay. then last but not least to Mo. Oke, okay. okay. seems like Mo is not there. Oke, okay. so for Mo is nyepian galungan lebaran, normally she gets invitation from her friends and then gather and then like, she got to meet new friends as well and eating lebaran. So she actually went to KDK school yesterday for Bookbird event. Okay, nice one, Mo. Um, okay, so I think that concludes the personal updates uh, part over here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a little bit over time, but I, I think it's uh, heartwarming to hear everyone's perspective, everyone's uh, stories about Lebaran, or maybe other than Lebaran as well, like with all of the family gatherings, with all the good foods and good mood. So uh, to close the session, I'll pass it back to Dea then. Okay, thank you, Kashialin, for for moderating the day. Uh, last but not least, I want to uh, congratulate all of you for celebrating Lebaran and for all the good work in this week. Thank you for all your hard work, your commitment, and belief in our vision. Uh, I I really wishing you all have a fantastic week and prosperous years. Bye bye, everyone. Oh, oh dear. One on more, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, babe yeah. and Bella, you guys met the former minister of finance in uh, Pop Bang Bang. What was that experience like? Or uh, Bella? I think it's a great opportunity, but we didn't talk much actually, sir. But oh. the conversation on the like on the a talk show is very very delightful. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Anyhow, um, there's going to be more opportunities that we see from time to time happening through the founder group. So when appropriate, uh, if you're interested in attending this, also Shaylin, this is a part of our employee development program. Since uh, Bella was looking after uh, the finance and also uh, uh, Wen is a co-founder in this, so she's. Uh, She's also part of this group. Um, do let us know because uh, we, we'd love to get you in front of, uh, you know, people who are aspirational and can inspire the light. Okay, thanks. Um, thanks for coming in and happy holidays for those of you who are celebrating Hito Fikri. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, everyone. Love, layer batin. Semangat for today. Wee, wee, wee.